Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at an interesting use case where you can automate your tags and it will help your team members or your colleague or your client to efficiently manage their tickets. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardeep Singh. I am a service now consultant living in New Delhi, India. I have 12 plus years of IT experience and 9 plus years of experience in service now. I have worked on multiple modules like ITSM, virtual agent, CMDB, asset management, and many many integrations. And I have also worked on custom applications. I love to play PlayStation with my son and snooker with my friends. Please connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button moving on in the previous video we had discussed about the tags so how can we create those tags how can we efficiently use them if you haven't seen that video please click on the top right corner this video is particularly for the service now developers or admins where they can actually write the code and automate those tags First of all I will be telling you the backend table names of those tags and then we will discuss about the use case. The backend name of the tags table is label. So basically all the tags which are created in service now or are present out of the box in service now are stored in this table called label. Let's quickly see that in service now as well. I am in service now I will type label dot list and i would be able to see all out of the box tags here or there are other ways to see that like if i type tags and i can see my tags here or tags from system definition next is tag entry table so this is a table where the relationship between the record and the tag is stored and we will also see this in service now for that i will type the table name label underscore entry dot list and i will go to one of the records which i created in the previous video the relationship between the tag and the incident number if you would see this is the title that means that is the incident number on which table it is referring to and what is the label so basically this label entry table stores the relationship between the tag and the record number Now let's discuss what use case are we building. We will create a tag called network and that would be automatically attached to the incidents which have the assignment group as network. If a record is inserted or updated so it will not affect any existing record if you are not updating that. But if the assignment group is updated even on a new incident or the record which you are updating it should automatically have a tag called network. and if we remove assignment group network from the incident the tag should also disappear after this it will be easier for the network team to actually see the incidents which are assigned to them you can extend this functionality to change table to the problem table or any other custom table which you have built on and then you will get a proper view of all the tickets which the network team is working on or has worked on if you remember from my previous video where i showed you a view where you can see all of the tags which the individual has created or which belongs to you and then you would be able to see all the records which are attached to that so the logic behind uh, this requirement would be we will be creating a system property which will have the tag name so when i will give you this code you can just download the xml or the update set and then you can change the system property if you want to refer to some other assignment group for example i'm doing for network group you can do it for your own group in your organization you can do it for any other group on your personal instance as well then we will create a script include which will have the functionalities or the functions of adding or removing the tags and finally we will have two business rules on the incident table which will call these script includes when a record is updated and a network group is added to that ticket and if the network group is removed we will call the other function of removing the tags let's jump to service now and build this so for ease of you guys in saving time i have already written the code i'll first go to system properties and show you the property which i have created it starts with tag automation 
and this is the name of the system property called tag automation underscore assignment group and the value is network and the type is string so if you want to download my XML you just have to go and change the group name here you don't need to change the code at all then I will go to script include and I will search for my script include here which also starts with tag automation underscore SI and I have made this as client callable so it's up to you if you want to make it client callable or not and then I will expand this and this is the first function which I have built called get tag sys id in this function we will be returning the sys id of the tag from the label table and we are passing tag name as parameter and action action would be used to check whether we are adding or removing the tag and after that I have declared a variable called tag sys id and I have done a glide record on the label table which stores the tags entries and then add active query name name of the tag type is standard and viewable is not me so it should be viewable by everyone and then if gr tag dot next so if it already has any entry in the label it will just assign this tag sys id to this variable and return it and if it doesn't exist it will go ahead and create a new tag in service now if you notice here it is only for add so when we are removing tag we don't need to create a new one so that is the reason I have added another variable here called action the second function would be add new tag entry which accepts the record sys id so the record on which we have to tag the sys id of the tag and the table name and I will be creating a new entry on the label entry table which stores the relationship between the record and the tag and we did an initialize and then label tag sys id and we are setting these values now table as table name table key as record sys id and then we are inserting it so after this a new tag entry would be created if you are not sure about glide record class please click on the top right corner and then finally we have the remove tag entry which is also accepting the similar parameters and then querying the same table called label entry we are doing an encoded query here where label is tag sys id table is table name table key is record sys id then querying and if it exists we will delete the record so this is for removing the tag entry now we will go to the business rules and you will see how we are calling this in sequence it's pretty straightforward when you will see this business rules you will understand how this script include is actually working I will search for them as tag automation and add tag so I will open the first one now tag automation underscore add tag and we will go when to run so we will be checking the condition when should it run if you notice here I have given the condition as after insert and update and if you want to see these options ensure that advance is checked and the assignment group changes to network so whenever an assignment group is changed to network this particular business rule will run if you want to learn more about business rules please click on the top right corner and under actions I have just added a small message here that assignment group has been updated to network just for your testing purpose or even if you want to show it to end users it's up to you and then under advance I have written a small script here where I am getting the group name from the system property which we had created and converting it into a string on a safer side so tag automation underscore assignment group so this will return me network and as I said in the start of the video you can change it if you want if you want your own assignment group just go ahead and do that and I have added an info message here uh, that what will be the group name so it will be displayed on your uh, form and then I am calling get tag sys id from that script include which we had discussed and I am passing here the group name that is the network and add and it will return me the tag sys id so if the tag is not already created it will create a new tag and return the sys id and if it already exists it will return the existing sys id and again I am adding the sys id of that tag which we will receive 
and finally we have the table name i am just picking it up by current dot table name dot to string and in the final line of code i have just written here new script include and add new tag entry so this is for creating the relationship and i am passing the current dot says id the tag says id and the table name which is this particular function which will be creating the label entry we will do a quick test here and if i go here under label dot list and i will open another tab called label underscore entry dot list and then finally incident dot list and under tags you would see network tag doesn't exist as of now so now we will go to one of the incidents which is open and not closed for example this 9005 and if we see here there are no assignment groups as of now i will just go ahead and type network here and i will save this and as soon as i save it should display me some messages that assignment group has been updated to network which was in the business rule and it gives me the info messages that uh, tag name is network and it has created a new tag society id which is this particular society if you want to verify you we can go to tag table and click here again and you would see a new entry has been just created next is we have to see whether the tag which was created has been tagged to this particular record or not for that i will click here on more options and you can see this has a tag of network and then i can also go into the incident dot list and i can check the tag there as well and here i will try to search for 9005 and it shows the tag as network and for some reason if i search all the incidents it doesn't show tag because of some issue i guess that is the platform issue but we do have that here coming up on the tags moving on we will test another scenario where we will be removing this network tag and for that i will again go to this incident i will remove this i will save this and the tag should automatically remove from here so network group has been removed and if i click here so there are no tags here and if i search it again the tag shouldn't be here so it is working as expected so i hope this video was helpful to you and you will be able to help your clients your colleagues in thinking of a use case or scenario where you will be saving their time i hope you will get an idea here how can you use these tags most efficiently for your team if you like this video please don't forget to hit that like button please subscribe to my channel let me know in comments if you want any other videos thank you for watching this till end of the video thanks everyone